Hey guys and welcome back to another mobility wad. Today's sequence is going to be more of a restorative flow. It's going to be slightly faster than maybe the other restorative sequence that you might have tried already. You won't need any equipment at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me in a standing position. We're going to take our legs out wide for a wide-legged forward fold. So we're going to come from a standing position, feet are out wide, short edges of the mat are in line with the long edges of our feet. So think about having that nice 90 degree angle with the toes pointing forwards if you're not using a mat. Think about then lifting the body out of the pelvis, so you've got a nice long spine lifting the crown of the head towards the ceiling, and then whenever you're ready, inhale to lift and lengthen further, reaching up high, and as you exhale, hinge at the hips, bringing yourself all the way down to the floor with your hands. Thinking about bringing the crown of the head towards the floor as well, and then pressing into the ground with the hands as if you're trying to push the crown of the head down towards the floor. Take two more deep breaths in. Exhale, fold deeper. One last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, fold deeper again. And then walk the hands all the way over to the left foot. Swivel around now so that you come into a low lunge position. So drop that back knee to the floor. Inhale as you lift and lengthen through the spine, reaching the heart forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to pull back into pyramid pose. So straighten that front leg, pull the back knee off the floor, fold the body over that front leg so you're in a kind of triangular shape. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then keep the right hand grounded as you inhale to lift and open with the left into revolve triangle pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release that hand to the floor, drop the back knee to the floor, and we're going to do that two more times. So inhale to come into your low lunge, reaching the heart forwards. Exhale to pull back to your pyramid pose. And then inhale to lift and open to revolve triangle. Exhale, release the hand, drop the knee, reset. Inhale, come into your low lunge. Exhale, pull back to pyramid. Inhale, lift and open into revolve triangle. Exhale, release the hands, step back to down facing dog and just pedal out the feet for a few breaths as you release off those calves, those hamstrings, those hips as you pedal from side to side. And then on the next inhale, you're going to bring that left leg all the way through to the front of the mat, bending at the knee, coming down into pigeon pose. So, Knee is at a 45 degree angle, the left heel goes towards the right hip and you're going to untuck the toes of the right leg and slide the leg back. See if you can keep your hips nice and level. If you need to, grab a block or a pillow to support the sit bone of the left side if your sit bone is not on the floor. If you can, see if you can get your sit bone to the floor and hip bone to the heel. Press through the ground as you inhale, take a nice deep breath in, open up that right hip flexor. And as you exhale, fold forwards. Take a nice deep breath all the way in once you get to the bottom. Exhale again. One last deep breath all the way in. See if you can sink deeper over that leg. Exhale. And then tuck the toes and press back up into down facing dog. And we're going to switch sides. So pedal out the legs. Take a few moments. So just open up those hamstrings, those calves again. And then this time we're going to step through with the right foot into that low lunge position. As we inhale, reach the chest forwards and we're going to do that low lunge to pyramid to triangle um, sequence again. So keep the chest lifted as you inhale. As you exhale, come back into that triangle pyramid pose, sorry, as you fold the body over that front leg, lifting the back knee, straightening both the legs. Inhale as you lift and open into revolve triangle side pose on the other side. Exhale, release the hand to the floor, drop the knee, reset. Inhale, come into that low lunge. Exhale, pull back to pyramid. Inhale, open to triangle. Exhale, release the hand, drop the knee, reset. Inhale, one last time, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, triangle pose. Exhale, release the hand, drop the knee and step back to down facing dog. 
pedal the feet out one last time, open up those calves, those hips, those hamstrings, release the legs and then bring that right knee all the way through to the front of the mat into pigeon pose, 45 degree angle, slide the left leg back, take a nice deep breath in as you press through the ground, opening up that left hip flexor this time, take a nice deep breath all the way in and as you exhale, fold forwards. Take two more deep breaths here. And then when you've taken your two deep breaths, press the hands back into the ground underneath the shoulders, step back into down facing dog, pedal it out, and then slowly come to a seated position. We're going to come into leg stack pose. So take the left leg under and stack the right foot on top of the left knee and the right knee should be stacked on top of the left leg. We're going to make sure that both sit bones are connected to the ground. If this isn't possible for you, you can either come to cross legs or you can do your butterfly forward fold, um, whichever you prefer. So find the position where you can get to. You shouldn't be in any pain at all, remember, so just take it easy. And we're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we fold forwards, bringing the chest towards the shins, head toward the floor. And just take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way up, and we're going to switch sides. So right leg goes under, left leg stacks on top, so foot on top of knee, knee on top of foot, or cross-legged, wherever you're at. Make sure those sit bones are connected to the floor. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you fold forwards over the legs, bringing the chest towards the shins, head towards the floor. And again, just take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then slowly inhale as you come all the way back up. The last pose that we're going to do today is reclined butterfly. So if you bring the soles of your feet together, heels in toward the bum, maybe move yourself further toward the front of the mat if you're using a mat, and then just let the knees fall out to the side. If you want to stay upright and just take a few pulses, and then forward fold here, you're more than welcome. If you just want to come all the way back for a more restorative, relaxing position to finish, then come onto your backs, let your hands fall out to the side or you can rest them on your inner thighs and just take 10 deep breaths to finish, letting the knees fall out to the side and letting the hips just open and relax and stretch off.